Writing linear systems down can get a little bit tedious, particularly when you have a whole bunch of different equations and a whole bunch of different variables. It's kind of cumbersome to write down the whole thing. So what we're going to do in this video is introduce a new notation called matrix notation that's just going to make ourselves a little bit more efficient for writing down linear systems. And it's going to be something that we're going to do all the time, and it's going to be greatly appreciated that we have this little bit of efficiency. For instance, if I look at what I have here, I have a lot of repetition. Notice how there's an x1, and this, this x1 appears every single time in this first column. And then there's an x2 that appears every single time in the second column. Sometimes I kind of hide it, if you'll notice on the second equation. I don't have it written explicitly, but I can fill it in as plus 0 times x2, and I can do it down here at the bottom. Or this is plus 0 times x3. So whether I write it explicitly or not, there's a whole column of x1s with coefficients, the whole column of x2s with coefficients, and a whole column of x3s with coefficients. All right, so how about I just don't write down the x1 or the x2? What I'm going to do is a matrix, and, and our, our notation is just a big set of brackets here. And then in each of my columns, I'm not going to write the coefficient and the variable. I'm just going to write the coefficient. So in the first column, it was 1 times x1, so that's a 1. 1 times x1 again, so that's a 1. 7 times x1, so that's a 7. And then 2 times x1, so that's a 2. In the second column, it's a 3 times an x2. I had already filled it in, so this is a 0 times an x2, a minus 2 times an x2, and a 0, a minus 1, a 1, a 0, and a 2. And finally, on the far right hand, after the equal signs, 1, 2, 7, 4. And to try to keep the, the equal signs in there, I might come along and put this sort of dotted line here that sort of separates it. So the stuff on the left-hand side is the thing that has variables. The stuff on the right-hand side is just going to be those constants. A few little pieces of terminology here. This portion, the, the portion of the matrix that's to the left of my dotted line here that refers to all of the coefficients to the variables, this is uninspiringly referred to as the coefficient matrix. The portion which is on the right-hand side, the stuff that corresponds to the constants, is referred to as the constant matrix sometimes a constant vector. We'll see what that is in a little while, but for now, constant matrix. And then the entire thing, consisting of both the coefficients and the constant, is going to be the augmented matrix. So the entire thing is the augmented matrix. It sort of divides up into these two different portions, the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix. And this is going to be how we're going to write down all of our linear systems in the future.